Tell you exactly what's off about it. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Spider Man No Way Home Movie Waves Armadillo Build a Figure. Try to pick up your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. Why down there, I ask you to kindly hit that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. And what do you think of the bath art over here, huh? I tried to kind of roll him up like an armadillo, and yeah, I'll build him in a second, but really quick, uh, the right leg came with the Miles Morales figure, which I just reviewed yesterday. The left leg came with the black and gold Spider-Man. The right arm came with the Moreland figure. The left arm came with J. Jonah Jameson. The torso came with Shriek, and the head came with the Doctor Strange figure. All right, let's get this thing built. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? All right, pretty good bath art, right? A little bit different from usual. Anyway, uh, yeah, nice looking torso piece right over here. Uh, these legs are actually pretty tricky to snap on, so I'm going to put that on first. And yeah, might. I'm going to get the right leg on here. More might. Yeah, left arm there. Right arm ports in nicely over there. Now I'll get the head on. Yeah, and now we have <laughs> Armadillo all built and looking very chunky. We don't get any accessories at all for this figure, so let's just get a closer look. <laughs> So it was always my understanding that Armadillo was a Spider-Man villain, but upon some more research, uh, he's actually a Captain America villain first. An Avengers villain, uh, he's fought the Thing, he's teamed up with several characters from the 616, and his whole story is basically he takes the serum that gives him the Armadillo powers and everything uh, so that he could get the money to help his girlfriend or his wife, and then he does help her, and then she leaves him because he looks like a gross Armadillo. And there's several designs of this guy, but uh, this is the most contemporary version you could see him fighting falcon cap right over here so pretty sweet look and i gotta say the sculpt and paint apps throughout look very clean on this head sculpt i really do like it a lot even those little wrinkles right there above the upper lip that looks great and there's a subtle change in color of the brown right over here on the top of the head you can see how it's like a darker brown and it kind of fades into a lighter brown just a little bit you'll see that throughout on the figure on the back you can see we get this big soft piece right here that just ports in with that hole so there's all that back muscle and no paint on the back itself but this does have paint on it you can see we have the darker brown and then it goes lighter it really should be the other way around right because if your light source is coming from up here you know lighter and then darker down here but whatever we do get some paint and we get some nice sculpted nicks and everything in his armor so i do like seeing that looks pretty good on the arms and i like these hands and these detailed nails look really good some of them are a little bit chipped so i think that's very very cool i do like that you can see some sculpt inside the joints right over there but not all parts of the joints are sculpted in which i don't know has like well why can't this be sculpted in but this side is sculpted in so i would like to see more sculpted work in those hinges and everything i do love this gradient right here with the tan colors that looks really sick on the torso i like the musculature and everything looks great on this hand too and then you can see the legs look pretty good uh, we have a little bit of a color variation right over here so it's the same leg piece but darker to lighter brown right there and then this is just the lighter brown i love the attention to detail to the little wrinkles and the little nicks in the armor and all that that makes me really happy to see and then the toes look great nice details with these toes so i'm really liking that quite a bit he does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet and you can see that when you bend him forward you can see that the armor is still covering the back i'm about to get into the articulation in just a moment but I wanted to cover a couple of things really quick. Uh, for instance, this frustrates the hell out of me. I heated this up so many times, but we have this dumbbell joint in here, and it looks like the ball inside here is supposed to move as well, giving you more range of movement, but it does not. And I really wish it did. So don't try moving this around. You may just break this peg. So that frustrates me. You don't get as much movement as I feel like we could have gotten. And then we get this detail right over here with the feet that... Oh! Oh my god it frustrates the hell out of me you can't really move the ankles up on this figure like it's just so frustrating to have this extra bit of plastic that i want to take an exacto knife and just shave off the inside of this piece on the top of the foot 
on both sides. I tried shimming this one up big time, so it does shift up just a little bit, but man, it's just frustrating that they sculpted it like this. So yeah, as I mentioned, you can only really turn the head side to side. It's gonna always kind of look down at an angle. As far as looking up goes, uh, it can't look up more than that. You can get them to look down just a tiny bit and a little bit of head pivoting. Uh, the shoulders will move outward that far, move inward just that much. You could rotate forward, rotate back. I mean, it's gonna knock that piece off right over there. Uh, you get a bicep swivel, single jointed elbows and then the wrist turns side to side and they hinge up and down nice diaphragm joint though you get side to side motion good pivoting and it crunches forward just a little bit and back a little bit uh, thighs move outward or hips move outward that far and he will kick forward that much uh, not back much upper thigh cut single jointed knees and then the ankles do move down they don't move up and he has beautiful well not that beautiful of ankle pivot i feel like the forward pin is just oddly placed over here in a way where it's just kind of angled a little bit weird I, I don't know how to explain it other than it not kind of just feeling centered when I turn it side to side. It's got a weird angle. So like a calf cut right here would have been really sweet to have. Now to measure out this armadillo build a figure, you can see that it is standing at about eight and a half inches tall. For some size comparisons, here's armadillo next to a couple heroes you could fight him against. And there's a whole bunch you could fight him against aside from these two, but there's Captain America from the vintage collection wave. And then we have the vintage collection Spider-Man. Then here's the armadillo build a figure next to the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four vintage collection thing. Then here's the armadillo build a figure next to some other anthropomorphic Morphic build a figures. We have the lizard, we have the rhino, we have Wendigo, and we have Ursa Major. I did pick up a custom grizzly head, and I have an extra body over here, so expect to see some custom painting from yours truly, Shardimus Prime. But yeah, Armadillo here looks pretty good next to these other figures. I guess technically not an anthropomorphic figure right here. And I know it's a lot of size comparisons, but here's the Armadillo build a figure next to the Deluxe Hydra Stomper, and we have the 80 Years Hulk. And then here's the Armadillo build a figure next to all of the other figures from the way we have the black and gold suit spider-man j jonah jameson dr strange moreland integrated suit spider-man shriek and miles morales and ranking these figures was very hard to do i actually had changed my list a little bit here and there a couple of times so at the bottom of the list it really wasn't hard for me to figure this one out it was actually the easiest choice at the very bottom i'm giving it to the black and gold suit spider-man uh, it's just already an inaccurate looking figure and then uh next from there i'm giving it to j jonah jameson i love that figure so it was tough to put it at the number seven spot i did put doctor strange ahead of him because we got more new cool stuff with that figure than we did with the j jonah jameson but oh man i really love both of them and then next five i'm giving it to Morland. love having a new character number four spot i'm giving it to the armadillo figure uh, some complications over here just really bothered me about it or else it would have gotten a higher spot and then at the number three spot giving it to the integrated suit spider-man figure just needs the black cobwebbing paint and that would be an incredible piece and maybe a disc hinge for the neck and then at the number two spot i'm giving it to shriek ah finally we got a shriek figure and i liked it more than i thought i would and at the number one spot but I'm giving it to the PlayStation Miles Morales. Oh, that figure is incredible. A lot of fun with it, definitely. Just for me personally, that is my favorite figure from the wave. I'd like to know your ranking. Please let me know in the comment section below. If I read it, I will give it a heart. Then here's Armadillo next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man and the death of Big Time Badass Spider-Man's going up tomorrow. Stay tuned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people that are in a position to support this content via Patreon. The help really does go a long way. If you're interested in the perks and you're in a position to sign up check it out link below this figure has some really cool things going for i mean first off having a new character that always makes me happy and i love the sculpted detail i love the paint applications that we're seeing throughout on this thing so it does look really good my biggest frustration though is with those ankle joints it just slaps the fun out of the figure like it really frustrated me a lot getting this guy posed around it hurt man it, it just uh it's such a cool looking piece but I mean, see for yourself, when you try to get him to stand in any kind of a dynamic pose, he's going to fall over. And right now he's on the rotating base in what I would not very much consider a dynamic pose. Uh, it's just kind of, you know, I don't know, standard. You got to use the toes for him or the toenails for him to lean on. And I just don't like that part of it. So that bothers me a lot. I really wish I liked this thing a lot more. I still like it. 
I just wish I liked it more. At the price point of a Build-A-Figure, I'm going to give this armadillo a sud rating of... I love it! And I'm very interested in knowing what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.